For my community mapping project, I chose the town of Union Springs, which supports two schools, the A.J. Smith Elementary and the Union Springs High School. Union Springs is a small town located on the northeastern side of Cayuga Lake, about 15 minutes south of the city of Auburn. The town has a population of about 1,090, with the median age being 34.4, and about 40% of families in the community have children under the age of 18. 95% of residents speak Spanish, or speak English, 4% speak Spanish, and 1% other. Now, if we take a ride down the main street of Union Springs, which is Route 90, you will see that there is a Chevy dealership, which dominates most of the business in the town. And along the left here, you see some commercial businesses. Union Springs, the town itself, has the Chevy dealership, two pizza joints, a Chinese place, a laundromat, a grocery store, an auto parts store, a gas station, a small casino, um, a public library, a Frontenac Museum, and the fire department, all along the main street on Route 90. As you can see, the town has sidewalks that run along the entire length of the town, and normally throughout the day you'll see people walking along them with their dogs or exercising. Coming up on the right here you can see the plaza which has a laundromat, a pizza place, and the grocery store. And further up on the right there will be the public library. And there pictured is the Frontenac Museum which focuses on local history. And here pictured we have the American Legion which is incredibly active in the Union Springs community, hosting community dinners like chicken barbecues and fish dinners, as well as offering sponsorships for sports teams and scholarships. So as we take a ride through the neighborhood of Union Springs, you'll notice mostly one and two story um, modest houses. Um, the town itself is probably more middle class to lower middle class I would say. Um, a lot of the signs you see that um, houses have out front are for Republican senators or congressmen. Um, there's a lot of school pride in the in the community. You'll see a lot of go wolves or my kid goes to Union Springs High School. So the community itself is pretty supportive of the school. So Frontenac Park is an important part of the Union Springs community. It's right up against the water you can see pictured there is a small island, um, but the swing set and this little playground here is relatively new. That green building across the field there is where they launch boats. Um, that gets a lot of use in the summer. One year they actually even hosted a Bassmasters tournament here. But you can see Frontenac Park has an outdoor baseball diamond with lights that was donated by the American Legion. There's an outdoor basketball court, um, a swimming area, Another basketball court, um, a big field where they sponsor or where they play soccer games and other sporting events in the summer. There's areas to have picnics with your family. So the park is a pretty important part of the community. So the Union Springs Central High School is categorized as rural distance, which describes the school's distance relative to an urbanized, heavily urbanized area like Auburn. The school has a total of 286 students, 128 males and 158 females, with 260 being white, 9 African American, 12 Hispanic, 2 Asian, and 3 with multiple ethnicities. So 72% of the students qualify for free lunch and 9 qualify for reduced pr price lunches. The student-teacher ratio at Union Springs is about 15 to 1, with the full-time equivalent being about 18 to 1. So Union Springs has relatively small class sizes. So now we'll just take a walk outside the back of Union Springs High School and take a look at the softball field, the tennis courts, the baseball diamond, the football field, the track, and some of the practice fields. So Union Springs High School is a public school um, and they are a public school, which means they receive their funding through taxes. Um, the superintendent has the office in Union Springs High School, and he is found there most days of the week 
There are two principals in the Union Springs High School building, one high school, one middle school, but most of the middle school tends to stay on the first floor. The school has a bus garage located off campus and they bus their students in from all throughout the district. The district is, lo is labeled rural distant, which means that most of the kids are going to be pretty far away and will rely on the busing, but some kids who live in the town choose to walk, drive, or get dropped off. So overall, my impression of Union Springs was pretty good. Um, I found the community to be very nice and helpful. Um, I work there, so <laughs> uh, I'm pretty well known, but for the most part, the community is really supportive of the school. There's a lot of things for kids to do in Union Springs, like go to the park, go to the public library, visit the museum. Um, there's lots of different sports teams and opportunities like youth baseball and football and swimming. So the community itself is very supportive of the school, and I had a great time researching for this product.